Hello, hello. I think I am live. I'm pretty sure I am, but I am going to just talk for a minute. We'll do introductions and all of that. <clears throat> so welcome. My name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Hart. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I just received my first pre-order for the upcoming 2024-2025 annual catalog from Stampin' Up! And I am so excited to dig into this and open it. Um, I will tell you guys right away, um, I have I literally just got this box and I just took the edges off of the box, like the flaps. But I, there's no order to this. So if you're somebody who really likes order, this might not be the unboxing for you. But if you like kind of just diving in and digging in, then stay with me and we can chat and do all the things. Um, so I would normally check to see if I'm live, but I can't, I, you know, I can't tell. So as you are coming on, um, be sure to say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. I would love to hear from you and let me know if you can hear me. So uh, we're going to go over a few things. But the first thing that I want to say is that I have missed being live with all of you so much. And I'm just so grateful to all of you for hanging in there with me. Um, there's just been so much going on. I know I've said it so many times, but I mean, it just keeps on coming. So the latest thing is that I am recovering from having poison ivy everywhere. So I don't want to use my makeup or my makeup brushes on my face yet. I mean, for the most part, most of it is clearing up. Um, I have a pretty bad patch on my wrist and I couldn't even stand the thought of removing the calamine lotion even for this live. So I hope that you will bear with me with this spot that I have on my wrist that has medicine on it because I am still, even though I've had it for like two weeks now, I'm still itchy. It's still everywhere. It's like in the crooks of my arms. I just like cleared this, these areas on my arms, but this thing won't go away. Um, you can still kind of see it, but oh my gosh, it's everywhere on my trunk, on my legs. Like it's, it, it was on my face. It was on my neck. So yeah, it was, oh, it, it was crazy, but so, so hi, Marlene. Um, and she says she's watching from Illinois and you can hear me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, so welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Yes. So we're going to be doing an unboxing tonight and I'm going to go over just a few things first because we really haven't had a chance to chat um, live in a while, but I won't talk too long because I know we want to dive into this box. I want to dive into the box too. Um, so we're going to do that in just a second, but let me just do a few touch points with all of you first. Hi, Teresa. Um, I'm so glad I mean, you guys are starting to find me now. So that's great because I haven't been live in a while. So people probably aren't getting notifications, but we're going to do the best that we can. So um, here are a few things that I want to go over. We have something called the last chance sale. So before I start diving in and showing you guys the new products, uh, don't forget about the retiring products from our two current catalogs. So we have two catalogs that are retiring and select items from both of those catalogs are going to go on sale on April 9th. So once last chance sale items are announced, once they're, you know, that once they sell out, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, but if they're still here by April 9th and you want to get the discounts on them, it is going to be a fantastic time to shop. So don't forget about those products and the fabulous things that we have in our outgoing catalogs, which I'm always sad to say goodbye to outgoing items. I was actually starting to pull things off of the shelf because I don't want to use things that we don't have. And I, I don't know. It's always, I, I always get attached to the products. So anyway, um, that's one thing that I want you guys to know. So that's coming up on April 9th. Here's another thing. Um, Stampin' Up! is going to be doing a slight increase on certain products, um, like cardstock and things like that. 
And it's not terrible. It's, you know, we know that pretty much everybody is doing it these days. I mean, everything is going up and up and up, but it's a, it's a modest increase in my opinion, but nevertheless, there is going to be an increase. So I just did this personally and I wanted to recommend it to all of you that if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber and you like purchasing prepaid codes. So this is for those of you who like you, you know, you're going to be getting the next three kits or the next six kits or the next 12 kits. If you purchase your prepaid code prior to May 1st, so if you purchase it anytime here in April, you'll get the existing prices before the price increase goes up on the paper pumpkin kit. So I just got my prepaid code yesterday um, so that I could, you know, um, get it for the current price. So I just wanted to recommend that to all of you. And as I'm saying this, it's April 4th. The last day to subscribe to the April Paper Pumpkin Kit is April 10th. Um, there's also a set of add-on dies, just throwing out that reminder if anybody's going to be shopping the sale on the 9th, that that is a great little add-on to put inside your box because I've heard from people that they don't like to just buy the add-on, you know, on its own. So if you're going to pair it, if you need to get something else with it, that's a great time to get your add-on dies. Mine are in shipping, but they are not here yet. And they're going to coordinate with the next three months worth of kits. So Add-ons are a separate thing, but if you do want to save money on this subscription before that increase, then I would recommend getting a prepaid code in April. If you want to activate that prepaid code, please, please, please do it before April 10th so that you don't miss out on the kit because it's going to be really, really nice. There's going to be a new color um, in the April kit as well. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to get a chance to look at it today. Um, this is the last month for host codes. So Stampin' Up! has been making good changes for a period of time, just kind of doing it in phases. And one of the things that they are phasing out are host codes. Now, typically every month I will do a host code. And if you spend $50 or more with me before tax, you would receive a free embellishment from me the following month as a thank you for your order. Um, that's going away. So I do have a host code for March, but after March, you will not see those from me anymore. So stay tuned for what I will be doing in place of that, but not going to announce or talk about any of that today. Just wanted to give you guys the heads up that that's changing. Okay. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into what we're here for, which is the new products. So I am going to switch my screen. Hello, Patty. I'm so happy you're here. Um, and I'm seeing Patty and that is reminding me, I forgot to mention this. Okay. So you guys, when I got this poison ivy situation problem happening, I couldn't even think straight. So I typically do my paper pumpkin alternate projects much earlier than this, but I just could not do it. So I am working on those cards right now. I was actually filming earlier today, uh, the March alternates card video. So just hang with me and you'll see that video coming out in the next couple of days. I'm so sorry to be late with the alternate projects. I know you guys wait for that from me, but I, again, I just appreciate you hanging in there with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to switch our screen and, okay, just going to mute that and I think we'll be fine. Hopefully there won't be any feedback. Okay, and we're going to, uh, we're going to unbox this together. So let's talk about all of these fabulous new products. Um, and like I said, no order to this, literally just got this in the mail. So what we'll do is we'll get everything out of the box first and then we'll, you know, play with the markers and we'll take a look at the colors and everything. Uh, so I'm going to take this one big and we're going to take this off of the screen so that we can just focus on these fabulous, fabulous upcoming new colors and products. And it's going to be great. Uh, let me see if I can get this banner off. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So. Can you guys sneak peek some new in colors here? Oh my goodness. So um, I'm going to start taking these out one by one, but this is Summer Splash. Uh, the new five in colors are going to be so fabulous. We have Petunia Pop, and I'll lay these all out um, together. 
but I can kind of see they're right on top. So let's go ahead and grab these first because um, I will be doing an in color club this year. I'll be releasing more information about that in the next coming, you know, the coming few weeks. So if you have any questions, let me know. We have peach pie. Now I understand that this is similar or close to the Pantone color of the year. So that's really cool that we're right on trend with that. And I personally feel like we really need another orange in our collection. So I was thrilled to see that. Now this is a color called pretty in pink. Apparently Stampin' Up! had released this color years and years ago, but I have never used it. I have never seen it myself. So I'm, this is brand new to me and I'm really excited to use this and work with this one. So we have pretty in pink here and there's one more. One more, okay. All right, and then the next color is Shy Shamrock. Oh my gosh, and let me just bring up comments so that I can see what you guys are saying. I know, I love the new in colors too, Teresa. Oh my gosh, I cannot even wait. So they are, oh my gosh, I can't wait to stamp with them. I can't wait to start making projects with them. So in addition to the five colors, I also got the um, Stampin' Blends in those shades. So here we have Pretty in Pink. I'm just gonna try to group these together. Here we have Peach Pie. I am so excited to have that. Um, this is the, there are two different 2024, 2026 in color embellishments. And this is one of those packs. And you can get a really good look at the color lineup for the in colors here. Uh, and so this one, these are called the in color resin dots. So every year Stampin' Up! comes out with a new color collection of five. When I very first joined Stampin' Up!, um, my very first purchase, like even in my starter kit, I got the in color collection at that time, which had like blueberry bushel and I can't remember all the colors right now, but I loved those colors. So this sort of reminds me of some of those. It's a nice little throwback for me. Um, <laughs> Patty says, I guess I've turned into a purple lover. I love Petunia Pop. It looks so pretty. It looks like a pinky purple to me. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna keep going. I'm so sorry I don't have this in any particular order. I did get the by your side kit. This is the pet theme kit, you guys. I will open this and we will go through what's in here, but for now I'm just gonna set it aside. So we're gonna kind of just keep looking at what we got here and then we're gonna open things and we're gonna go through things. All right, and then here is the other set of in-color embellishments here. These are called the Shimmer Gems, and they are beautiful. We're missing Petunia Pop there up at the top there, so we'll get into this. But let me just show you the difference between these two, um, just so that you can see. Completely different. I, I mean, I love the style of both of them but they're gonna make a big difference on your projects just depending on which ones you choose. So look at the difference in that. I think that that's awesome to see those side by side. I cannot wait to use these colors. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so beautiful. Now the other thing is we have in color ribbon. Uh-oh, we don't wanna see this one yet. Hang on, we're gonna put this with this. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. All right, let's see. I don't think I have all five. Patty, I need to be more like you, and I have to organize my stuff ahead of time. Here are three of the five in colors. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to open this, but I can tell just by looking at it, this ribbon has fantastic texture to it. And look at the saturation, like the color saturation on there. So I'm trying to see what they're calling this ribbon. Bordered ribbon. Three-eighths of an inch in all five of the new colors. We'll see if we can find those. As we go, uh, I'm trying to pull out as much in color stuff as I can. We have our 2024, 2026 in color, the stamp and write markers. So for those of you who may not be familiar, there is a basic difference um, between our stamp and write markers and our stamp and blends. Stamp and write water, um, um, stamp and write markers rather are water based which means you can take these markers and you can actually color directly onto a stamp and you can make it like a two-tone or a three-tone, you know, sentiment or greeting or uh, whatever you would want to do with that. It's safe to color directly onto your stamps. Our stamp and blends are alcohol-based markers. So these are water-based. These are alcohol-based. And these blend seamlessly together. And you can create some really fabulous looks and layer colors and all of that. Um, so just a really slight difference there, but that's why we have two different sets of markers. 
Okay. Now I do want to mention this while I'm here. Here we go. I'm kind of seeing these. Oh my gosh, Patty, you are so right about Petunia Pop. Look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. And I know I have the cellophane on there. We're going to take it off in a minute, but oh, that is a gorgeous color. Look at that. You know what this is like? This is like a shade up from Fresh Freesia. And I've been working with Fresh Freesia all day today. Okay. And then here, so spoiler alert, Fresh Freesia will be on my alternates. Um, Shy Shamrock. So here's Shy Shamrock ribbon. Okay. So here we can get a look at all five of those colors. And then let's talk about, here's the other stamp and blend shades. I can't wait to open these and color with these. We're going to, we're going to take a little sneak peek at those colors. Now let's talk about our other new color. So this is the color and it's actually hard to see with the wrap on. And I do have my scissors here. Let me see if I can take this. I was going to try not to get caught up in removing all of the wrapping right away, but I want you guys to see this color because it's hard to read with the plastic on there. Okay, so this one is called Basic Beige, and Basic Beige is going to be in the April Paper Pumpkin Kit. So that color, I could see that that color was listed in there if you look at our um, little PDF that we have. And just so that you guys can get a better idea, here's the cardstock. Okay, so I'll have to do a comparison so that we can see, but this to me, it looks like it's even lighter than Sahara Sand. This is really, really light. Um, nice warm tone to it. So I would say like a shade up from very vanilla. There's a little more brown to it, uh, but it's not too dark. It's actually really light. And then this is the ribbon for the basic beige. So I was really excited that we could get this in the pre-order because I want to have these products on hand when I make alternates for the April kit. Um, that's why I love them kind of like sneak peeking three months at a time for us now with our kits. They do it quarterly now and it allows me to plan. And I definitely plan my orders around that. Um, cause you guys know how much I love doing the alternates. So let's talk about, we have a suite coming up here that we're going to be looking at. So, uh, two stamps, there's actually two bundles as part of this suite, flowers of beauty in Unbounded Love. And of course you can see here, we have some two-step stamping from the imagery. I love two-step stamping. And then we have a lot of really, really wonderful um, greetings, hope, love, faith. And then of course you can mix and match these. So I guess we could call this like a layering or a two-step or even a three-step, just depending on how you're pairing your greetings. Um, you know, a three-step like sentiment you could do or a two-step sentiment. But I loved the font on these. I loved all of the phrasing. I don't even think I have anything that just says faith. And I thought that was beautiful. So anyway, here are the stamp sets for those. And then we also have coordinating dies. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. And yes, I'm still going to kind of leave them in the box if you guys don't mind. This is going to make a little bit of noise as I unwrap this. So just bear with me for a second. Hi, Joan. How are you? Oh, gosh, you guys. I have missed being live with you so much. I cannot even tell you. It has been very depressing not going live. I promise you that, at least for me. Okay, so here we go. This is the Unbounded Love Dies. And let's take a look at these. <gasps> okay, so for those of you who have seen several of my videos, you know that I have an absolute love of frames. Look at these dies. I'll have to get my um, ruler out a little bit later, but Look at the character and the detail on these. I cannot wait to use these. So these are the Unbounded Love Dies. And it's pairing with those greetings, those sentiments. So how beautiful would that be? And then our next one, this is also going to make a little bit of noise. This is Flowers of Beauty. And you guys have sneak peek in some DSP there. Oh my gosh. Paper share is going to be so fabulous this year. Okay. I had a really hard time not buying the bundle that went with that paper. <laughs> it's trying to be good. Okay. Flowers of Beauty dies. Here we go. And let's take a look at these. 
Oh my, look at the scale on this one. Oh my gosh, the impact on that. So beautiful. So these, I believe these cut out all individual flowers, but of course you have the strip that you could use too. So you could use the positive or the negative on these. Um, and then I'll have to get into this. I'll have to cut these out, but wow. So these, the ones that you see that are all silver like this, these are solid, meaning you do not need a stamp to coordinate with it. It cuts independent pieces. And then the ones that are outlined like that, they usually will cut out a stamped image. Um, and we can see more about that. Now, I cannot show the inside of this catalog until it launches to everybody on May 1st. Um, so I can't show you what the pages look like. I can't show you the samples that they made, but I can show you anything that I make with it. So I will certainly be doing that. Okay, so before I get into DSP, let me just pull out the cardstock real quick. Okay, so here's peach pie. I love peach pie. I can tell you guys right now, I love this color. Oh my goodness. It's almost like a yellowish orange. It's so beautiful. Okay, so here's peach pie and petunia pop. I am absolutely completely understanding why Patty is loving this color. Um, and if you guys have a favorite, if you like, just, just to look at it, if there's anything that's really jumping out at you, let me know what color you're liking the best. I would love to hear. Um, Summer Splash. Okay. And then we're going to just kind of, ooh, look at this paper. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, I ordered two. Okay. So, you guys, have you ever placed orders and you ordered two of something and you were like, hey, um, I didn't realize I went, I was looking at my receipt and I was like, what did I order two of? And apparently I ordered two of those. So we'll go through that in a minute. But let's just grab. Here is Shy Shamrock. This is like, dare I say that this is like a bold green. This is, this has a lot of character to it. I really like this color. Um, and just to hold these two up next to each other, this one has more blue to it. And this one to me is more of like a brighter green in my opinion, um, but we'll take a look at that. So, all right, I think we can start getting into our papers now and I'm gonna move this box off of the table. So let's do that. Anything hiding under here? Yes, my pretty in pink paper, or I should say cardstock. That is so beautiful. We desperately needed this pink, in my opinion. I mean, I do love bubble bath, but I like this pink. I can tell you right now, just looking at it, like, I really love this pink, the pretty in pink. Okay. So the rest of this, I believe, is either designer series paper or specialty paper. Um, so we're going to kind of go through this and we're going to look around. Uh, should I do unbounded first? Because that is part of the suite. Yeah. So the, um, one of the reasons why I got unbounded first was because I knew that I was going to use this. I think these are the two that go together. Okay. If I'm missing anything, I'll let you know. Cause I can't reference my catalog with you guys. I'm too scared to have it next to the camera. Um, let's see what everybody is saying. Patty says that it's similar to Mango Melody. I'll have to compare it. I'll have to see if I can get a swatch of that. And Teresa says, so far, Shy Shamrock is her favorite. Right now, Pretty in Pink is mine. Pretty in Pink is my favorite so far. Okay, so um, one thing that happens to me with in colors, and you guys can let me know if this happens to you, once I start working with it, I end up loving a color I didn't even think that I would care about. So I would say that the two that were really on my mind were peach pie and pretty in pink, but just eyeballing this pink, I, I'm going to be using it on everything. Um, let's open this one up. So the reason that I got Unbounded Beauty first is because I'm pretty much going to be kicking off my in color club with it. Uh, it was just so beautiful. I mean, wait until you get your catalog and see. I ordered my catalogs. Hopefully they will be here in the next week. Uh, so if you look at the coordinating colors, which are always listed right underneath the title on this, which is like the most boring page, right? But this has the important information and all of the new in colors are part of this paper pack. Um, it's, it's a big thing for this suite. So I really, really wanted to make sure that I had this to show you guys and then I could actually look through it too. <laughs> so let's do that together. Um, I can tell you already, this is, this is stunning. All right. So here 
is the first side. And then I'm going to flip over the second sheet so that you guys can see the other pattern there. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Just even pairing these two together. So see if you can spot the in colors as we go through. I, I know I'm looking at Petunia Pop right here. And then I think this is, what is that bluish green color called again? It's going to take me a minute to remember these guys. Summer Splash. Summer Splash. Okay, so here is Summer Splash. I'm going to try to keep these in order. Let's see how I do. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. So that's the opposite side for this one. And if you guys want me to hold any of these up closer to the screen, just let me know. I'm just going to try to move through these so that I don't focus too long on one thing. We got some paper to go through here. But for anybody who's going to be interested in the paper share or for anybody who's interested in In Color Club, you definitely want to check out what we got going on here. Okay, so here's the first side. Here's the second side. I am obsessed with Pretty in Pink. I cannot wait to make cards with this. Okay, so there we have that. Peach pie, it's fabulous. It even looks good with the pinks. And for me, when I think of orange, I think of more traditional pairings. Okay, here's the opposite side. Super cool. All right. Big time petunia pop going on with this one. Look at the detail on that. It's really pretty. Okay, and then here is our opposite side. Really, really soft. This reminds me of a stamp set that I bought that isn't here yet. It wasn't in this box today because I made a last minute decision and got it in a separate order. But I, my mind is immediately thinking of these patterns when I look at this. It's called Under the Moon. Okay, and then here's this one. And here is this side. So this is pretty awesome. Um, both sides are good on these, you know, like I would definitely use both. So we'll see what, what happens with that. But that's the unbounded paper. And then as part of this suite, this suite was really big. I'm trying to remember everything that was in it. Uh, Joan is also voting for Petunia Pop. We have the 2024 2026 in color glimmer specialty paper. So let's check this out. This one's going to make me some noise. I'm open this book. Okay. All right. Here we go. Put this over here so I can put it back later. And let's check these out in glimmer. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm doing this any justice. Let me see if I can get the light on that a little bit better. But in person, I it's, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So this is peach pie. There's five sheets in this. So just so that you guys know, here's Petunia Pop. Really, really close to their like colors. So I'm just eyeballing the ribbon over here. These are really on point. I love this pink. Oh my gosh. It's even more beautiful in person than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So here's pretty in pink. Here is shy shamrock. Oh my goodness, Teresa. Wait until you see this in person. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I love this green. This green is fabulous. And I know we have a lot of greens in our collection, but we do not have that color. I promise you. Okay. And so this is summer splash beautiful. Okay. All right. I got to make sure I put that back in the thing so that this stays nice. But we're going to move this to the side now. Okay. And let's start opening the other packs. Um, and if I go out of order, I apologize. But like I said, I don't have like a reference sheet in front of me here. So this is one of the six by six designer series paper packs. This is called Thoughtful Journey. Tons of coordinating colors on this one, which I always love. Um, Teresa's saying that that paper, the shimmer paper was so pretty. The glimmer paper, it really is so gorgeous in person. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I love nature. I love floral and I love nature. They're probably the top two things that I get. And I buy so many scene stamps or two-step stamps. It's just, it appeals to me. And I love what I'm seeing here in the artwork. So again, I'm going to try to keep it moving. 
So let's see. I want to, I want to do this justice, but I also want to keep it moving. I'm not one of those people who can like really quickly pull four papers together. I just it takes me a hot second, but look at this one. Is that beautiful? This is thoughtful journey. Okay. There's the other side. And I'm going to try to keep these in order. Here's the other side. I love this one. Look at that. That is, I love that color combo. That is so pretty. Okay. And let's see if I can. Let's be real. I'm just going to page through it like this. Okay. This is cool. So here we have side A and side B. Yeah. This reminds me of the ocean and I didn't get it yet, but there is a shark set that I cannot wait to get. And I'm, I'm thinking about this paper for that, <laughs> for that one. Certain things just jump out at me when I start looking at them. Here we have this, this is an interesting combo. And then here's this side. I don't know if I love these together pretty. Oh, and there's the other side. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not even talking now because I'm just staring at this paper. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I love that. Look at that. I love trees. I love stamping trees. I love people who paint trees. It reminds me a little bit of Bob Ross. This wasn't exactly his painting style, but just happy trees, right? Oh, and here's the other side. I keep doing that. Okay, so we have our other side here. The other sides, like their, their patterns are a little bit crazy. I wonder what this technique is. I can't think of it offhand. If anybody knows what that technique is, shout it out. How beautiful this one is. That is gorgeous. Okay, and then here's the other side for that one. This is nice and soft. That reminds me of spring. Beautiful. This reminds me of what I'm working with right now. Um, the March Paper Pumpkin Kit. Absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of purple in March's Paper Pumpkin Kit. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I was surprised um, now that I'm working with it. So here we have these two sides. And then we have this one here. Ooh, look at that combo. Fabulous. You don't even have to do anything. Just, just put a sentiment right on there and you're done. You could just stamp it right onto the paper. You don't have to do anything. Okay. All right. So that was thoughtful journey. And let's take a look at, I have to move my, hold on one second. Watercolor with rock salt. Patty said, to eat away the color. That is so cool. I don't think I've ever tried that. Have you ever tried that? Um, it, it looks like that. That well, we'll have to go back through that again, but that is really, that's fun. Okay. Um, there was something else from Thoughtful Journey. So let me see if I can find that one first. Country Woods. Here it is. Thoughtful Designs. Okay. Let's check this one out. This is a specialty paper, uh, but it does coordinate with the same suite of the paper that I just showed you. And wow, this, this is a wow. So Thoughtful Designs 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series paper. There's five sheets. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to see if I can bring it up close. Can you guys see this? So number one, we have ombre. Can you, we could like recreate something like this with heat embossing or like reverse heat embossing and then our blending brushes with the new in colors. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, but anyway, this is the paper. So this is not like thick. This is like a little bit on the thinner side and it's only one side. Okay, so it's not double-sided. <sighs> that is so beautiful. Look at this one. So we kind of have like a blue fading into, I guess that's Petunia Pop is my guess. I'm going to try to hold it both ways so that you can see these colors, but it really shines. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's that one. 
This one looks coral-ish. Yeah, I feel like I'm not doing this any justice. Like we have some darker orange and then we kind of have some coral here. If I just set it down, can you see it better that way? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? But in person, it's going to knock your socks off. Okay, so there's that one. And then we have like a, ye like a yellow to green fade here. So let's see if I can kind of turn it this way and show you this way. Oh man, the projects that this is going to make. Look at that. So beautiful. I did not get this whole suite. I, I just got the paper. Um, but you can tell, I mean, just from the style that the whole suite is going to be stunning. And then here we have like that light fade again and going into that darker tone. So absolutely beautiful. Patty says she's done it on some videos. It's a favorite technique. I'm going to have to go through your videos and see if I can find that. I want to see that. I got to watch that. Okay. So let me, I just want to try to keep, I'm trying to keep these together so that I can reorganize it as soon as the video is over. All right. So this is the 2024, 2026 in color designer series paper. Um, so we have some new patterns in every annual catalog with all of our color collections. And this is the newest color collection. I'm only going to open one because, of course, both packs are the same thing. But at least I'm ahead of the game on that. I can't believe I ordered two. That's so funny. Okay. So here we have the first side. Oh, I love stripes. Oh, my gosh. And normally I get to watch like everybody's unboxings before I even do my own. And I'm always trying to check out videos and things. And I just have not even had a chance to do that. Okay. To really get like an up close look at this. So I'm happy to be doing that with you. So this is the pretty in pink color. Absolutely love these. Can you see it's like circles, like a circle pattern there. And then turn these over. I'm going to try to keep them all in order. So they're all the same patterns. It's just in each one of the colors. I'm going to use this one on everything. Everything. This will probably be my initial <laughs> my initial samples with the in colors because I love that paper. All right. And then here's the other one. Okay. And that's peach pie. So as we sort of dig into all of these in colors, you guys can really get a sense of what in color club is going to be like this year. So many fabulous patterns and products and different ways to use these. Okay. And then we have this pattern. You can really see it in shy shamrock. I like the patterns very clear there. Felt like it was a little hard to see on the lighter colors. Here's Petunia Pop. This is, a, this is a stunning color. This is really unique. Okay, so here are these two here. So, so beautiful. Really bold pattern here, by the way. And again, this is reminding me of the Paper Pumpkin Kit because I'm working with that dye that's very similar to this right now. Okay, and then we have this pattern in this color in our petunia pop and here is our this is going to be the hardest color for me to remember summer splash summer splash it reminds me of coastal cabana but it's it's more there's more color to it it's a little more, I, I would say it's more saturated or it's a, it's a very slightly deeper color if i could describe it that way all right, and then here's this pattern here. I don't know if you guys can see that really close, like what that pattern looks like, but that's a cool pattern too. All right, so those are the in-color patterns, um, but th this is going to be the pattern on the Color Collection DSPs. Uh, you couldn't order them all, so this was the one that I could get and then I did get. All right, I'm so happy to see that. All right, the next one is Country Woods. And this one feels heavy. Um, it says it's only 12 sheets, like the our standard 12 sheets. I was wondering if that was a bigger pack, but maybe it just feels weighty to me after holding the six by sixes. Okay. For 
those of you who like natural elements and papers. Um, oh, did you find the link, Patty? She said she messaged, she messaged me. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, hold on. I have to cancel something I just clicked. Hopefully you guys are still here. All right. Um, so here, this paper, check this out. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so much more bold than what I thought in the catalog when I was looking at it in the catalog. Um, this jumps off of the page. That is awesome. I love this. Okay. So this is Country Woods. Let's go ahead. Let's keep, I'm going to try to keep it moving. I absolutely love wood grain, wood tones, all of that. So here's the one side and then the other. Let me, let me put the wood grain in the right direction or the same direction at least. Having a hard time picking up this paper. Hold on. Sorry about that. So can you see these two? We have this really deep aged look and then this really light. So that's cool. And... I was just looking at tiles, um, one of the stores that we were in, and this reminds me of that. <laughs> and then here is the other side. This is beautiful, natural, natural look. And this looks like it has some like paint chipping off of it or like it had a, a wash on it almost. Okay. And this one looks like it's been like marked up, but that of course that's the pattern on the paper. Country Woods, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. It's going to be one of the most popular in the in the like catalog is going to be my opinion on that. I did not. And it's like a mega suite. It's gigantic. Um, I can't show you guys the catalog, but trust me, it's, it's pretty big. And there's two paper packs with just that one suite. And really, really fabulous stamps. I didn't get those stamps yet, but oh my gosh, you're going to be able to create to your heart's content with all of the products you're going to get. And um, I can't remember if the suite is called country woods, but usually it is the same, the same name as the DSP. So I bet you that's it. So here's the two, the two sides here. That's cool. Okay. So there's that. All right, that's the first pack. Let me see if I can get this slip back in here. And that'll be one less thing I'll have to put away later. I can do it timely and without damaging my corners. Well, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. We don't want to rush through that. Okay. And so this one is called Cottage Lace. Or no, I'm sorry, Country Lace. Let me correct myself. Country Lace. I would say it felt a little bit like a cottage vibe, but you'll, you'll see. Okay. All right, here we go. My fingers must be really dry. It's probably from the constant. I, I have been washing my hands like a crazy person because of the poison ivy. Okay, so here are these two. So this is the front and the back of this paper. I'm going to just kind of show them one at a time. Same sheet, just the reverse side. And I'm going to get close on that so that you guys can see that's really, there's a lot of like color and texture there, but it's very light. It's soft. I think this is basic beige, actually. Um, we'll see, but that's, that's good because I'm going to make a mental note if I want to use that paper, paper content. Okay. So here is our next pattern and here is the other side that is beautiful. And this is a similar, almost like a similar pattern. These are a little bit more separated. It looks like there's a little bit more of a color difference than on the in color DSP, but when you look at it far away, it looks completely different, doesn't it? That's cool. Okay, so there's that one. And yeah, I think this is basic beige. I'm going to have to get that. I'm going to have to look at that piece that I just took off. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I knocked my headphones over. Hold on. I just don't want it in the screen. Can you guys see that cord? Hold on. 
that will annoy everybody, including me. Okay. So here we go. And here's the other side. I'll, I'll get back to you on this, but I'm pretty sure that's what that color is. Um, let's see. Teresa is saying, this is my favorite suite. I ended up getting a second pack of the Country Woods paper. It is so me. That is awesome, Teresa. Yeah, I really do think that that one's going to be like a, a big hit. I think Unbounded Love and that one are going to be huge. Okay, so here's this pattern here. This looks like wallpaper. And here's the other side, really neutral, really cool tone. And that has like a whole look to it, but it is actually the pattern that's printed. And so this reminds me of like a neutrals pack almost. It really is. Okay, so here's this one. And here's the other side. I love the textures on this. It looks like material. It really does. Okay. And then here's this one. And I mean, the type of patterns that we're looking at on this particular pack, you could use on so many different things. This looks like jeans to me. <laughs> it looks like a close-up of jeans. It's cool. All right. And then... Is that the last piece on that one? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's, here's the backing. Let me just check and see so I can tell you. Because if it's one of the new colors, I really do want to shout it out so we can all get familiar with it. Yep, Basic Beige, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, and Smoky Slate is the color combo on that. So that should be right there, a fabulous indication of what that suite is going to be like. Okay, and I would if I could show you everything, I would, but I'm a girl on a budget, so we're gonna do it in steps. And then this is oh, this isn't DSP, this is textured metallic specialty paper, bright copper, gold, and tungsten. So let's take a look at this. I love metallics, I always have. Um, and I, I would consider myself more of a gold girl um, than a silver girl. I like a lot of like more like vintage -y, traditional type stuff. Um, but look at how shiny that is. That's beautiful. This reminds me of like a 14 karat gold, very rich, warm tone to it. And then here, this must be tungsten. Very deep, like a very, very deep gray beautiful hopefully you guys can see the shine and the texture on that my big light like reflects weird on the shinier stuff so there are three sheets in this particular pack and then here is what was it was it bright copper i'll have to go back and look at it one more time but there's that and this is like a really warm rich like reddish brown you know what this looks like to me this looks like metallic um copper clay that's what it reminds me of Okay. All right. So there's that one. I got to make sure that I get these in. I got to get these in sleeves right away because I don't want to mess this paper up. It's too beautiful. Okay. Um, did I save the best for last? This paper has so much character to it. It, it was, do you know how like sometimes when you're ordering and you're making your lists and you're just in pain about not getting something? Well, I was in pain about not getting the bundle that coordinated with this paper, but I thought, just get the paper first, check it out. And if you really love it, you can get the bundle. And I think it's safe to say, <laughs> I haven't even looked at it yet. Hold on, let's get the scissors. This is called Take to the Sky. Take to the Sky. Now, maybe it's because I'm outnumbered by boys in my house that I go for these sets. Um, you know, you could qualify this as masculine, but it doesn't have to be right. But I do love this style. It does, it definitely has that vintage vibe to it. And the way that they have been doing these layouts where you could actually turn this into um, like a journal or you could put like pieces of this into a planner or into a scrapbook or a memory book or a photo album or something like that. I love when they do these front sheets like this and look at the tags here. Isn't that cool? Look at this one. I absolutely love the artwork and the character and the color combo on this. It's, this is so fat. I should have gotten two of these. 
So here's the other side. We have some maps going on. This kind of reminds me of like Amelia Earhart. You know what I mean? Just looking at this old school like type of plane and everything because she's always in the news even still today. They're, I don't know if they actually found her. I know they were looking, but I don't know if they ever found her. Okay. So it was one of the great mysteries, right? Here is this pattern here. <laughs> totally went down a rabbit hole, by the way. It has nothing to do with the paper, but it just, those are the things that like pop into my head when I'm thinking about it. Um, but just so cool. If you have anybody, um, you know, who flies planes or you know somebody who loves to travel, anything like that, if, you know, model planes, they, if they collect or build model planes at a local park um, where we live. Look at this. Is this fabulous? Oh, I see my, I see my Wi-Fi is slowing down a little bit. Hopefully Joan says I need the planes. Yeah. Why didn't I get that bundle, Joan? Quite really questioning myself. Um, but we have people who build these um, planes, you know, about the size of a table, let's say like a, like a coffee table, maybe a little bit smaller. And then they fly them in the park. Like they have like remote controls and they fly them. So if you know anybody like that, I think this would be absolutely perfect for them. But oh my goodness. Um, I would personally use this for memory keeping. I used to do that many, many years ago. I would like to get back into it, but this is definitely my style. Um, I used to research family history. So this would be really cool if you knew somebody who was in the Air Force or something like that. You know, I love this. I know I'm going so slow, but I really love this paper. And it's so different from the other packs that I showed you. And this is what makes a paper share so fabulous. Okay, I couldn't even do the front side and the back side. I just had to really look at them all. Look, would you look at this page? Look at this. Oh gosh, who worked on this paper? I love it. I, don't, I wouldn't even want to cut this paper, but I will. Okay, and then here, if anybody watches Kylie Bertucci, the Australian demonstrator, her love it, chop it. This is one that I would have to talk myself into chopping. But there you have it. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, so in terms of at least getting everything out of the box and kind of eyeballing these new beautiful papers, here we go. Um, Take to the Sky. That was a combination of boho blue, copper clay, mossy meadow, night of navy, and smoky slate. And I have to say, I love that color palette. Love it so much. I just want to put that on the front of a card. Like, I don't even want to add anything to it. I just want to put it on the front of a card. So cool. Okay. So there goes all of our papers. Now let me grab a piece of um, uh, basic white cardstock. And let's just color a little bit with our blends and just kind of check out these colors and maybe use the stamp and write markers a little bit too and just kind of compare the way the colors look. Let me just grab... Do I have a piece right here? I think I do. Okay, don't don't mind my scraps. It doesn't have to be pretty, but at least this way I don't have to get up and leave the table. So I'm gonna try to spread these out. Okay. Can we see this? Let me do it this way so that you can see them as I'm coloring, hopefully. Just gonna scooch it up here. Hopefully you can see all. Okay, so here's here are the new in colors. And then let's go through the markers. So these are the Peach Pie Stamp and Blend. And we'll start here. So I'll start with light. Okay, and then here's dark. I'm going to do a slight overlap. Okay. I love these. Oh, Halloween. I cannot wait for you. Let's see. I know we're not even at spring yet, but my brain works ahead. All right. So peach pie. All right. And then there is petunia pop. We'll start with light. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. This is the most fabulous pinky purple. I can't even really call it purple. It, it, there's so much pink in there, but it's so beautiful. Look at that. I love them. Okay. So here is Petunia Pop. Okay. And then here we have light, pretty and pink. Well, just pretty and pink. And I'm looking at the light marker, so I'll clarify. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that's probably gonna be considered a little I don't know <laughs> I don't know what your opinion is on it, but this is what I thought that blushing bride, which is a retired color now, this is what I thought blushing bride should have looked like. <laughs> if that if that makes any sense, but pretty in pink is also a fabulous name for it. Okay, pretty in pink. I love 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 that. And then let's do Summer Splash next. Okay. Summer Splash. It's like Christmas. It, it's better than Christmas. Pre-order days. Receiving packages on pre-order days is better than Christmas. Okay. This is beautiful. I don't think I ever had the blends in Coastal Cabana. I don't, I don't know if I just didn't buy them or if they didn't have them in that color, but um, this is really, really pretty. Summer Splash. Okay. And I don't even know which color I'm going to start with first, but I'll get the votes from everybody and that will help me decide Seems like Petunia Pop might be winning. Um, here is Shy Shamrock, which is such a cute name. We had family um, who just went to Ireland. It was so beautiful. All of their pictures were so beautiful. And they brought us back chocolate from Ireland, which was cool. And it had Guinness in it. Oh, oh. okay. So there is Shy Shamrock, equally gorgeous. I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna write it down here since I'm like overlapping our greens. Okay, so those, and let me just hold them up a little bit closer. All right, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty and Pink, Summer Splash, and Shy Shamrock. And then let me just gonna just mark these the in color right markers here. Okay, so our in color right markers uh, have two tips. So same thing with our stamp and blends. One is a bullet tip, and this one's very thin. It's just 0.5 uh, millimeter, and then this is more of a brush tip. Same thing with our stamp and blends. There's a brush tip and there's a bullet tip, but this bullet tip is a little bit thicker. Okay, so which side? I'll start with the brushed. And this is Summer Splash, right? Yeah. So here, look at how saturated that is. Okay, so there's that one. Here is Peach Pie. These are the ones that are water-based. These are the ones that you can safely color right onto a stamp. So for example, if you have a two sentence stamp and you want the big phrase to be orange, and you want the bottom phrase to be green, you would use the stamp and write markers to just color those individually, which I don't do nearly enough of. I'll have to try to do that technique with these now that I have these here. Okay, and then Petunia Pop. And how close these are. I, 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 it's amazing to me how they always get this. Can you guys see that tip, by the way, that bullet tip? Let me see if I can bring that up closer cool so they recently redid the stamp and write markers they look great okay and then here is the shy shamrock 
The more I repeat the names, the more likely I am to remember them. And Pretty in Pink, which makes me think of the song from the 80s. All right. Pretty in Pink is a runaway favorite for me. I'm not even going to lie. I just, I can't get enough of this color. Okay. So those are the in color right markers and I'll hold this up to the camera so you can see the difference just a little bit closer, but they definitely have different, both sets of markers are great, but they have different functions and will create different looks on your projects here. And then I'm going to unwrap, I'm going to take these out so we can see these without the cellophane. That amazing how close those are and here I would say is like a softer version because these are kind of see-through I gotta put those back in there so. let me try to salvage that real quick okay Mary hello Mary she says so glad to be with you I am so glad you are here I am so glad to be with all of you too you just you do not even know you do not even know it has been, I, I don't, I don't like when I go through these times where I can't create and craft. It, it drives me crazy. Okay. So here we go. These are the shimmer gems. I'm going to hold them up. This is without the cellophane so we can get a really good look here at the difference. And just to give you guys an idea, like these resin dots, I think is what they're calling that. Yeah, these resin dots are more to the flat side. Can you guys see that? There's a little bit of dimension there, but not much. So for those of you who really prefer like a flat, these are going to be the ones that you're going to like. And then these have like a faceted cut to them and they are really sparkly. Like they have that shimmer in them. So pretty and very, very soft. I love these. These remind me of the purple gems that we just had in the lavender suite, you know, that had the three different purples. Um, I was just working with those, but so, so pretty. Okay, so there's that. And I think all I have to show you now with the in colors is the ribbon. I do want to show you those. Okay, so Stampin' Blends on top, Stampin' Right on the bottom, light and dark. And then the two different tips for these. So there's that just to give you an idea. And then I did do some overlap because with the Stampin' Blends, the whole concept is, is that you can blend those together if you would want to, to create some really great looks. Um, I do a lot of basic blend stamping. There are some, I mean, blend coloring. There are some people who are just mega talented and really have honed their technique and do amazing things with Stampin' Blends. I would say I'm on the more novice side of that. I keep it pretty basic, but I do have certain techniques that I will get into and do sometimes. I don't want to, I don't want to cut my ribbon. Okay. So just so that you guys can get a look at this, this of course is why it's called bordered ribbon. So much texture in that. And so one of the questions that I will start with is, can I tie a bow with it? Is it easy to tie? into a knot or into a bow and so far the answer is yes this is very workable so let's just take a look and see yeah this looks great i would probably do smaller bows than that i'm not going to pull this super tight because i'm going to leave this loose i don't know what i'm going to do with this ribbon yet but it does tie very nicely and it would not very nicely too okay let me see if i take that out. We'll save that for another time. All right. So that was, which one was that? Shy Shamrock. Okay. And here we have Peach Pie. I won't go too crazy with these, but I do at least want you to see them without the, it's, it's hard to see them when they have the wrapper on them. And then here's pretty in pink. This is, oh my gosh, I love this pink so much. This to me 
is a little bit of a warmer pink than bubble bath. Uh, bubble bath to me is like a cooler pink, if that makes any sense. Um, I, I, I will have to find a better way to describe it. I'll have to do a side by side, like I'll have to do some color comparisons, but definitely to me, this is a warmer pink. Okay. Summer splash. And our Petunia Pop. Okay. Now, I don't know if we want to get into stamping with the inks tonight. I think that just between looking at all of this product, we have a really good sense of these colors. Um, but you will see me, you will see me stamping with these very soon. <laughs> very, very soon. All right. So that covers the in colors. And then I did promise you that I would go through this by my side kit. So we are going to open that and we are going to look at this. So um, this is Kit's collection. And let's see. Um, Patty says they don't sell Coastal Cabana blends, probably because they knew they'd make this color. <laughs> yes. Um, and Coastal Cabana just recently retired. So it's nice that we have... I don't want to say like some version of it. It's a little bit richer of a color, but I'm glad that we have something representing that range back in the collection. Um, Mary says the ribbons are so soft. They are. They're really soft. They have great texture to them. Um, they tie well. They have good, like the, I like the bordered edge on those. Like they have a lot of character to them. They'll add to your projects. Uh, Teresa says the ribbon are so pretty. I, I agree 100%. I mean, when you think about building that new color collection, it, it is the most exciting thing. Like you just can't wait to get everything together and like, you know, it looks so cool. So this is the by your side kit. Um, Stampin' Up! has started doing something with kits collection where they're doing two kits every month now. And while I don't get every kit, what I have been trying to do is like a kit collection spotlight. I've been trying to look at at least or get at least one kit per month. Um, typically, I really just focus on paper pumpkin. So I was not getting kits collection previously. But in the last few months, I just feel like the kits have just skyrocketed in terms of their character and their function and the pricing and the value. And so I wanted, you know, for 2024, I wanted to give Kit's collection a try. This is just me personally as a crafter. And when I saw this month's April's release, I was like, um, who isn't going to get this one? This is just the, the most adorable set. So with Kit's collection, they have a nice range. They have certain kits um, that don't have any stamps or ink in them. And then they have other kits that do. This is one of the kits that do. Okay. So we're going to go through this and we're going to open this together. And I will make cards with this another time. The ink spot that comes in by your side is Old Olive. Let's take a look really quickly at, let me see if I can pull. Hold on. This isn't the best. This isn't the best piece of paper, but hopefully we can at least just see. Can you see this? Okay, so I'll always be by your side. Best friends forever. We have two paw prints here, two different sizes and shapes. We have a bone. We have a little fish here. And then um, it says, you make my heart happy. And what does this one say? Here's to a true friend. So we have a pet theme kit here. I love this stamp set. These are photopolymer stamps. And then let's see what we got here inside our kit. We're going to make some really cute stuff with this. I feel like we should, go, we should always, there should be like a staple pet stamp set in every catalog. But since there isn't, um, I would highly, highly recommend by your side. Kits Collection, you can shop exclusively online. They don't show pictures of Kits Collection kits, or at least not all of them, um, in the catalogs. So you can check out Kits Collection online. And the main difference between Kits Collection and Paper Pumpkin is that Kit Collection, you can order as, you know, as many as you want, as far as I know. 
Um, they're in the online store. They're available to get as soon as you click and put them in your cart and they ship out to you and you know exactly what you're getting in that kit. You can check it out before you purchase it. Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription box. So that is something that is shipped to your mailbox and you get a sneak peek of Paper Pumpkin, but you don't know exactly what comes in that kit until you get it in the mail. Once the subscription period is over for a Paper Pumpkin kit, then that's it. And Paper Pumpkin has a few other benefits, different benefits where you can actually purchase refills. You can purchase add-on dies for Paper Pumpkin kits. Um, sometimes they have other things, but I think this year they're focusing on dies. And then you can purchase past kits sometimes, but they're not always available. So those are the two main differences between Paper Pumpkin and Kit Select, Kits Collection. And so there is a block that you can stamp with right inside this kit. So if this is going to be a gift for somebody, they'll have a block for their photopolymer stamps. Look at these. These are really cute. So we have some matte gold hearts in here, some embellishments. We have some layering pieces, two little hearts here that look like they pop out. And then we have our circles that look like they pop out. And then we have a sheet of Stampin' Dimensionals. We have these envelopes here. So let's take a look at these. Looks like we have two different colors and patterns here. So we have this pattern and we have this pattern. And it looks like this little circle right here is where you stamp your paws. That's my guess. Just depending on if you have a doggy or a kitty. And then let's see. We have, I have to look at my instruction sheet, but let's see how many cards that we have here. And just looking at this color palette, you could probably mix and match that take to the sky set with this if you want to use DSP. But we have one, two, three. We have four card bases in this pattern. And then we also have four, I would say, in this one. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so four and four. So eight cards. I'm assuming eight envelopes. And then here are our little stars of the show. Here's our little characters. So we have, let's see how many of these we get. Here's one sheet of four. So four, eight, 12, 16. I mean, 16 of these. And so for those of you who aren't into coloring yet, right? This is where Kit's collection is ideal because all of the coloring is done for you. The die cutting, you don't have to worry about it. Everything is already pre-cut. You just pop it out and put it on your card. So if you need to create something quickly, easily, if this is a new hobby for you, right? Or if you want to mix and match, this is where the benefit of Kit's collection comes in, right? Because this kit Everything's done for you. Now, I don't know. Let me see. Here it is. We also have these. Um, we have some banners, and it looks like there's two sheets of these. Has like a polka dot detail on it. And then you can see we have like a banner, a banner flap here. So let me just take one of these out so that we can see what this looks like. Okay. And so if you want to see what the cards look like, I'm going to show you now. Here is our instruction sheet. And this is adorable. I mean, come on. So here are the four cards that you would make in the kit if you would make the kit as is, okay? Meaning you have everything that you need in this box to make these cards that are on this picture. If you want to change that or make alternates with that or add to that, of course, of course, of course you can. But you get your instructions right inside here. Okay, and they're visual step-by-step -step instructions so that you can make these. Um, I will make a set of these exactly as they design them because I think that these cards are precious. Um, but we'll probably do alternates with this too. And so on the back, whenever you're looking at these instruction sheets, you get a lot of your information here. Um, so just something to keep in mind. But if you want to make sure you have everything that comes in the kit, um, you want to make sure how, you know, how many cards it's for. You can check the back if you want to see what the coordinating colors are, which is always something that I reference with kits that's going to be over here. Okay. So that is the by your side kit. It is adorable. So if you know somebody with fur babies, 
that is due for a card, then this is definitely the kit for you. All right. And so we'll make that another time. We're not going to make the cards tonight, but oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I can, I can see so many different ideas with these stamps. And then we're just going to pop that back in the box. Not perfect, but I'll, I'll clean up my mess later. Um, let me put my little olive, old olive ink spot in there. All right. And then I got to keep this stuff together. I can't let this stuff go rogue. All right. And I think that's it. Um, let me show you guys the beige ribbon with the with the cellophane off. And then I think that will cover it for this unboxing. Um, Coastal Cabana is not retired. You're thinking of Bermuda. I'm thinking of Bermuda Bay. Oh, you guys do not listen to me. Oh, Teresa, thank you so much. Why was I thinking that Coastal Cabana was retired? Bermuda Bay is retired. And Bermuda Bay was darker. So I, I'm going to have to look at those two side by side now. I have to see what those colors look like together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for correcting me on that. Oh my gosh. How could I be saying the wrong color? I, this is my brain. This is why I need to have references right in front of my face. Um, if I had those color collections out right in front of me, I wouldn't have done that, but that, that's just a lesson to be learned. So here is basic beige. It is exactly that same textured bordered ribbon as our in color ribbons, but this is what it looks like in basic beige. So it's not white. Um, can I hold up to show you guys that it's not white? How, how's that? It's, it looks like one step up from cream. If I'm, if I could describe this, like, did you ever put too much cream in your coffee? That's what it looks like. It looks like when you order a latte and the whole thing is milk. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. So there is that color for you. Um, I think I'm going to try to squeeze base, basic beige as an add-on into my in color club because I feel like everybody needs. Uh, <laughs> Teresa just put a, a message here that said, you freaked me up. I, I You freaked me out. I had to look at the catalog. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. Let me see if I can switch this. Um, uh, which way do I normally do it? Is it this way? Okay. I think it's this way. So the reason why my face is so beat red is because I get so hot under these lights. Um, I need to get better lights that don't get hot like this. Okay. So this sums up the unboxing my first pre-order um, with you guys. I do have more coming, but it's not I wouldn't classify it as enough for like a big haul, but you'll get to see um, samples with those. But the next order of business for me is to get the March paper pumpkin alternates out to you. Um, I'm so sorry that I am late on that, but I am going to um, get this, you know, once, once we're done with our live here, excuse me, I'm going to download the video. And I'll post the replay on YouTube so that we have it on YouTube too. I'm just going back through. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just going through comments to make sure I got everything. Um, what page is it in the catalog? What page is what, Marlene? Let me know. Uh, in colors or I can't, I can't open my catalog here. I can show you the cover of it. Um, it's on my other table. Let me, let me grab it real quick. I'll, I can show you the cover, but I can't open it. But I'll see if I can look off camera for whatever it is that you're looking for. Hold on. All right. Beige, um, basic beige. Let me look off camera really quick. Um, I'm going to go to this image so you guys can't see me. So just hang on one second and I will find it for you, Marlene. Um, basic beige. Stamp sets. 
just looking for ink. Here it is. Um, ink pads, page 135 to 139. Let me just check. I'm like so paranoid. I just want to make sure you can't see me. Oh, God. I can't be breaking any rules. All right, let's see. It is on it is on page 139, Marlene. 139 on the lower part of the page. Okay. And then you can see the um, products that you can get in basic beige. So let me show you guys the front of the catalog. So I can at least show that. And you can see we have some like embossing action going on here. A little specialty element. It's it feels flat, like it doesn't feel like it is raised. So I'm not sure how they did that, but it's really, it's very shiny, but this is all I can show you. So can't open it. Um, what I will say is I have catalogs on the way. I don't expect them for a week or so. Um, and then I will have to take the time to, you know, pack them up and get them out to everybody. So if you don't have you, you know, don't have a demonstrator or if you need a catalog, you can reach out to me. Um, you know, you can email me, let me get you my email address. So, and let me go over everything with you just really quickly here. So my name is Melinda Hart. I have a website, uh, it's stampingwithheart.blogspot.com. And this is my email address. So if you want to email me, if you have any questions about the upcoming paper share or in color club, or any questions about the catalog, um, you could let me know. What I will say is that the cover of this catalog inspired one of my alternates that you guys are going to be seeing super soon. Um, so let me see if I can go back to my two shot here. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. I want to thank you all for being here with me for this live. Um, oh, you're welcome, Marlene. So catalogs will be coming soon. Um, reach out to me. But other than that, have a wonderful evening. Let me know if you have the time, if you would like to comment, if there was anything, you know, in this haul that you saw that just was really either your favorite in color or a favorite product or paper that you saw, let me know in the comments because that might help me decide what the first color for in Cl color club is going to be. All right. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.